Santa baby, we'd really like some stability for GP and the rest of the world. Santa cutie, hurry down the chimney tonight. Twenty-two has felt quite cursed. We lost a queen and two prime ministers. Please give 23 more luck And politicians who give just don't suck Bidoo, bidoo, Santa cutie And the wars and stop all the hate Please mate Spread some hope and good cheer Santa baby Hurry down the chimney tonight well hello, it is Wednesday the 7th of December, happy birthday Max, little nephew's birthday, I shouldn't call him little, he's 20 I think, you know how it goes, but it's his birthday, so we wish him a happy one, hope you're all okay, very busy, I thought everything was going to be less busy after yesterday, turned out I lied. Uh, this morning I've uh, had a visit for uh, a funeral arrangement, so uh, very nice people to deal with. So obviously I've got writing up and things like that to do. And I've also just had uh, the latest instalment of the tech editing course, which will finish uh, at the end of this week. Very interesting, very good. So now I'm on day seven of my homemade advent and just a reminder because some of you lovelies have been saying oh you've had good ideas no no um the idea of making one's own advent comes from kalisha of the quirky monday craft craft cast the idea of giving oneself things to do comes from marceline of hey brownberry podcast and the idea of um happy memories comes from a viewer dr evelyn so thank you for giving me credit for all these ideas i have merely implemented them so the yarn now this is quite shiny um i know it's catching a lot of light from the way the room is lit but uh this is serda soft spun i think and I've loved the way this stuff looks. I did have some red that I made a crochet cardigan. It peeled like nobody's business. It is lovely and soft and it is lovely and shiny. Um, so lots to do with that. I have a uh, knit night tonight. We're still meeting virtually, so I have knit night tonight. So I shall make my stocking and crochet loop and add to my granny square this evening. Oh, now that's an interesting thing. And I'm talking about how busy I am, so I don't know if I'm going to get a chance for that today, but I hope so. Stare at the sky for 10 minutes. I think I'm going to try and do that before the sky becomes dark. Um, yeah, it's just about taking time out sometimes, isn't it? And just not doing stuff and just switching off. That's often when the good ideas pop in as well. My happy memory... On the CN Tower, walking on glass. Now, this is the CN Tower in Toronto. And we were there, can't remember when, a few years ago. But they have some panels of glass in the floor, so you can walk over them. And I remember, because <laughs> these panels, it's like looking through a window because they have metal slats between them. So the panels themselves probably two and a half feet square and there were four of them with these metal slats so it looked like an old-fashioned window and there was this uh, young chap who was obviously trying to impress the people he was with because he was sitting on this glass because people were, were going up to the edge because it's not for everyone walking on glass and we know that um, but he was obviously trying to impress the people he was with by sitting on the glass but he was actually sitting on the metal bit so I thought 
Your friends may be impressed, but I am not sunshine. I can see exactly what you're doing. Um, so, yes, didn't take a lot of notice of him. But it was a very weird sensation. Now, I'm sure many of you have done similar things because there are lots of places in Tall Towers or there's that, is it over the Grand Canyon? There's that glass bridge. I'm not sure if it's glass, the one there. But it is weird stepping on to something that you can see through. And I do mean see through. I'm not talking about kind of slatted where you can see between the the supports, but actually to see the whole thing it is slightly odd. It does mess with your brain a bit. But I like stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, so that was my memory. So a trip when himself and I were in Canada, walking on glass, however many feet up, or metres, or however. <laughs> it was a nice holiday. Enjoyed that one. Hmm. Um, so what have we got today? Um, yeah, work... Um, chat to my dad and do the ironing usual sort of stuff and then um virtual knit night this evening so i had a visit this morning i've got a zoom visit later today and then virtual knit night and that will be the work stuff and then tomorrow morning um probably tomorrow i will be recording later in the day as i am did i mention that it's already 20 past three in the afternoon um because again, I have a visit in the morning, so I need to be up and at them, raring to go. <laughs> and depending on how long the visit goes, I mean, today, lovely lady I was talking to, obviously we're chatting for quite a while. So I came back and I was kind of more or less straight into the, the tech editing course. So it just kind of knocks on a bit, but that's that's OK. It's all good. It's all fine. So I hope you're all having fun. I uh, hope you get a chance to stare at the sky, whether it's emptying down on you or, well, not hopefully on you, but, you know, see it from a window. Or whether it's bright sunshine, wherever you are. I hope you get a few minutes to uh, stop and stare. What is this life if full of care we have no time to stop and stare? It's a poem my mother used to recite often. W.H. Davis, Leisure. Hmm. Blimey, well, I mean, I dragged up. Could you hear the cogs going as I whirled whir 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 through that one? <laughs> I'm waffling now. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for being here and I will hopefully catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers.